Everyone knows that. That's a great question. I'm glad you asked. Let's go over here. See, care, watch your heads. We got, what we have to do is the tongue and groove is above the beams, but it's below the rafters. Gotcha. So what we had to do was we had to pull a string line across because it goes above this but below these. Right. Yep. And these match up with the two by sixes that we'll put on top of the tongue and groove. Gotcha. So that when we complete the assembly, the tongue and groove will go all the way across under, and this will be inside the roof assembly. Okay. It won't be visible. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll tack on a two by six on the end of all of these studs. Mm -hmm. That will match the two by six um, fascia on the top assembly above the tongue and groove. Right. And then I'm going to put a one by eight piece of hardy on the outside for water. Right. And then put the drip edge on top of the one by eight fascia. Right. Because these have to member out all the way. Two by six there. That way right. the, your tongue so, of groove matches all the way across. Right. So when we're done, that one by eight is going to hang down and overlap the, the, the timber by a little. Yeah. Yeah, it gives you a little bit of a drip edge. Just so. a little bit of a yeah. drip edge that yeah. doesn't get water on the timber. Now what happened was, was that a standard height for a, a, a 10 foot stud wall is how high, Karina? Harrison? Help her out. 10 foot one and one eight. Ten, uh, <laughs>